Hey YouTube, prepared wander out in the woods today. It's gorgeous, uh, partly sunny, about 24 degrees. Polar vortex is gone. By tomorrow it's gonna be in the 40s. By Monday it'll be in the 50s. So all this will be gone. But right now it's just beautiful and pristine out. Um, I've hiked back here on this trail. There's no tracks but animal tracks. I'm the first human out here for a little while it looks like, which is awesome. And what I wanted to show you today is this, um, this thing right here. This is the Halicon Tech uh, Swagman Roll Advanced Bushcraft Poncho Liner. This is from their Bushcraft line. See that? And what this thing is, is a, uh, it's your, it's, it's a poncho liner, like maybe some of you guys are used to who are in the military, but it's been upgraded and added a bunch of features to it, so it's more than just a poncho liner, and that's what we're going to look at today, so stick around. All right, so uh, the first thing that is different about this poncho liner is that it is actually filled with uh, Climate Shield Apex. Um, 67 grams and the size of this poncho liner is 59 by 80 inches and it weighs in at 712 grams which I'm not sure what that equals to in pounds but um, it's fairly lightweight it can't even be a pound I would imagine um, but it comes in this really nice stuff sack and what's really interesting about this thing this product is that um, it's not only a poncho liner or whoopee it's also a summer sleeping bag by zipping it up um, inner sleeping bag for a modular sleeping system so you could add this to a, a larger sleeping bag that you may have um, a blanket or as a hammock under quilt so it really gives you a lot of different options and what really um, appeals to me on this thing is is that it's something that I can wear around camp when I don't want to wear a hell lot of heavy layers and I want my jacket to dry out. Um, if I'm making a fire, I want to sit around the campfire. This is something I can wear to help keep me warm when I'm still. Um, not something I'm going to be moving through the brush with because you probably end up destroying it. Um, but for still sitting, uh, for hunting, you know, still hunting in a blind, this would be a great item because not only it's camouflage. Notice right away on the front, there is a pocket. So you got some storage in here, which I think is really cool. Another great feature is, get this glove off. If you reach around to the back and grab these Fastex buckles, you buckle at the front and then cinch it up. Now you've got basically a jacket. This allows you to crouch, kneel in the snow, when, you know, preparing your fire, setting up a tent, you know, getting your gear organized in your campsite, you know, preparing for the hunt, getting your, your blind set up. This is something you can wear and it's not going to restrict your movement. It's not getting in the way in any way. The sleeves are nice and generous when you buckle that. And you can of course adjust the, the tightness of the strap across your middle. Now as you guys know, I'm a pretty big guy and this thing is fitting me really well. I'd say the only tight area that I'm experiencing is the hood. The hood's just a little tight on me around my neck, but not bad.
you certainly couldn't wear this over a helmet so it's not designed for that but uh, it'll fit my big noggin so it can't be too bad camo that I bought this in. This is the, the Pencot uh, uh, Woodland, I believe. Or something like that. It's it's kind of a unique pattern. I've never, I haven't seen this before up close. It's really nice. This is going to disappear in the spring for sure. And I think to make this into a sleeping bag, you have two, a two-way zipper right there. Look at that. Now you have a sleeping bag. The other interesting feature on this is it comes with these toggles. And what these toggles are for, these will actually loop into the grommets on uh, a USGI poncho. So you can actually attach this to your poncho that you already have and line your poncho. Now you have a warm, you know, fairly waterproof system to wear. So that this is gonna slip into the grommet, it's gonna pop through, and it's gonna hold like that, it's gonna create an anchor point. So it's another great feature in there. These toggles are all around on the corners. Exactly where the grommets would be on the USGA poncho. Also, you can tighten the the neck of this thing if you make this into a sleeping bag. You have Grimlocks, or not Grimlocks, but um, uh, little uh, little lock, cord locks, and you pull those and pull this tight. And so now you can get wrap this around you and create a nice seal on it. Now I can tell this is going to be a little tight for me, for my size, so what I would use this for is I would probably just uh, zip up the foot of it and then put that over my feet and then I'd leave the rest of it open like a, a quilt and I have that on top of me um, as a sleeping bag or inside another sleeping bag. So all in all, a really awesome system. Um, something that is definitely overdue. Another feature I just noticed here is your hood it has its own little pocket. You can store the hood. That way, when it's in sleeping bag mode, it's not you know hanging out, getting in the way. That'll help seal up the that hole. Um, what I like about this is that I think the price is very affordable for what you're getting. It's it's a little over a hundred dollars on Amazon, and there's a choice of colors. I think there's a multi cam, a coyote, a green, this pen coat. Uh, woodland. I think there's a pen coat Badland, which is like a desert scheme. Um, so there's different color options. So not only are you getting a nice uh, warm um, poncho liner, an upgraded poncho liner, it's also coming in some nice camouflage colors so you can use this for, for hunting. Um, I th it's just going to be a really versatile piece of gear and I think for what, what I paid for it, it's well worth it. I mean, it just has so many features and there's nothing like this currently on the market that I know of. There may be some stuff coming out, but not that I've seen. Um, you know, it's just, I was really enamored with it when I saw it. It's like, wow, this is going to be an awesome piece of kit. And like I showed, you know, I just threw this in my day pack today. And I'm going to leave that in there for the winter because when I'm out hiking around, I stop and I make up some lunch or stuff, that's when I get cold. And sometimes my jacket is a little sweaty on the inside, so I can take my jacket off, let that dry out, put the, the poncho liner on while I'm working around in camp, then load it back up, throw it in the backpack, and hit the trail. So I've got a, a nice insulation layer. This is something, um, I think for the price, it's well worth it, and it's a great product so far. Um, it really seems to be well made. Um, the features are, are amazing. So I can't say enough good things about it. I'm really excited about it, as you can tell. It's just, I think it's so darn cool. And uh, I hope to get more use out of this thing as camping season keeps, keeps coming. So that's it for today. I just wanted to show you this. 
I hope you guys liked it. And um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell icon for uh, update notifications. Um, also check me out on Instagram and Facebook. There's links down below for that. Uh, I'll put uh, this up in the Amazon store if you want to check out the, the specs and the price and all that. Um, that helps out the channel as well. And we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer. Thanks a lot.